Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. This one's going to be on an emulator called Stella. This one emulates the Atari 2600. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your browser. You're going to type in Stella emulator. And it's going to be the one right here on the GitHub. So we're going to click on that. We are going to go over here to stable releases. Now you're going to download the one for, you know, whatever Windows operating system you're running, 64-bit or 32. Now it does show that this is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. And they do have uh, some here for the Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi. So, you know, depending on whatever you're using, go ahead and uh, get that downloading according to what you have. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And now what we're going to do is make sure that you have this uh, Visual C++ distributable on your computer already. If you do not, or if you're not sure, just go ahead and download that. And if you uh, follow the steps here and it doesn't launch, that means you need to install that. So as a, you know, safety, you might want to go ahead and have that downloaded. And then also go here and we're going to download what's called the Stella Snapshots. And what that'll do, it'll show you a picture when you load your, uh, you know, when you're going through your list of games it'll show you the picture on the right side so let's go ahead and get that installed and then once you have that installed you're literally just going to go to your location where you have that item installed now you can launch it uh, right off the bat but what you might want to do first is actually go ahead and copy the Stella snapshots folder you know once you have that extracted you're going to have this folder here and you're going to just drag and drop that to the location where the emulator is at and then like I said what that'll do is show you the snapshots when you go through the list so once you have that done you also want to make sure that whatever ROMs you have are inside a folder called ROMs inside that uh, directory where the emulator is at and you can do it to different spots but this will be the easiest for you to get it to go you know off the bat so once you start it, it may not look like this because my, uh, you know, locations are already set up. So I'll go ahead and jump out of here. You're more than likely going to start from your root drive. So it's more than likely going to be C. So you're going to go ahead and click on your root drive. You're going to go to program files. If you put it in the default directory, then you installed it. You're going to go to Stella. Now you're going to have, as you can see, it shows you the directory for that. So you're going to go into ROMs. And as you can see now, whatever game is highlighted here on the list, it's going to show you, a, show you a snapshot here because you put that snapshot folder in here. So this is just, you know, better to get a kind of like a, a feel for what the game looks like. So once that's done, you are ready to go. What I'm going to show you how to do first is the joystick setup. It should automatically find both your joystick and your mouse. So I'll show you how to verify that. So you can go in here, options, go to input. And you can see it's got the devi devices and ports and then mouse. So your mouse is going to be on analog or it should be if it is not put it on that. And then here it's just going to show you the sensitivity for the paddle, trackball, and driving controller. So you can actually use a mouse for any one of these three features, you know, that's inside a game. So once you go in here, you can go back to device and ports. Once you click on controller database, it's going to show you the controllers that it should be you know plugged into your system this is basically set up on its own because this console is a very easy setup it basically has your you know your up down left right on the controller and then the one button so if you see this you're more than likely already automatically set up to get that you know to work so once you've checked this is okay you can go ahead and just launch a game i like showing uh pitfall so let's go ahead and jump in there real quick and i'll go over the uh options you can do for the graphics so we'll start that pitfall here. There we go. Now I have it set up to the, uh, you know, the effects were actually turned off and I just have scan lines, but I can go in here and show you what it looks. So this is basically the effects off RGB with 25% scan lines. So if you want to mess around with that, you're going to go up here, exit, hitting your escape key, go to video and audio. Uh, the render, you can choose whatever you want here for, you know, whatever is working for you. You can choose to do full screen and stretch. So it'll go, you know, the full width of the widescreen TV left to right. 
and then for the effects you can go in here now what I'll do is show you this is what I have on I'm gonna show you the different effects on here so you can make it look like an older TV so the composite you can pick phosphor on here which will give you that like that uh, blurriness of the TV and we'll leave it with no scan lines for now so you can see the difference so we'll go ahead back in there and now as you can see it's like you know blurred out like the old school TVs from you know back in the day so you can see the difference on there so we'll jump back out and now I'll show you this with scan lines so we'll do 50% you can go anywhere from 0 to 100 on there and then that's what it'll look like with that effect now it does have the other ones so if you pick the other ones that you know they'll start looking sharper for you so you can go and do for example you can do you got the S video so this should look a little bit sharper see as you can see it actually looks way better now and then like I said the other setting I showed you was with that actually turned off so with the options actually chosen the best one you can get from it not being disabled would be the RGB uh, you could try turning the phosphor off scan lines I like it around there we'll launch it and you can take a look there see so between this one and the disabled one with those effects that's probably the sharpest it'll look for you but like if you're a real retro you know and you like it to look like the old TVs you can do the settings from there so this is pretty much it this is a very simple emulator to set up so hopefully if you guys enjoy the Atari 2600 this will bring back memories hope you enjoy the videos if you do go ahead and give me a thumbs up and or a like subscribe and we will see you guys on the next video you have a good one